What's up everybody? Happy Friday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Getting into this episode of Days. Um <laughs> Yo. Kate. I'm I'm disappointed in Kate. I'm sorry, but I am. For many years, Kate has gone up against a lot of powerful people. Stefano, Victor, a lot of people. You know, she's went up against Vivian. You know, you went up against all these different people. Some who have had more power than others. And you allow yourself to be blackmailed by Stefan and Gabby. I could not. I, I, I don't get that shit. And then she's sitting there taking orders from this bitch. I was like, no, 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 no. That's not the Kate that I know. You know what I'm saying? Like Kate would never allow herself to be blackmailed by Gabby Hernandez of all people. She's such a small fish in a big pond. And you let that little tart blackmail you? Are you serious? Nah. But Kate finally grew her backbone towards the end of this episode. Because she was basically like, look bitch, I'm not helping you no more. I'm sick of this shit. I ain't taking orders from your ass no more. Clean your own mess up. Or else you going to jail. I, Kate was fed up with this shit and I don't blame her. It's about time. Like, why would you sit there and let this little trick blackmail you? Like, are you insane? Like, you better get your backbone back and boss the fuck up. Ain't no way I'm gonna sit there and let no Gabby Hernandez blackmail me. Yeah, right. Gabby, are you serious? Gabby of all people calling the shots? Hell no. And Gabby stupid ass got caught her damn self when Stefan came home. Now she got the freaking bag. She got the wig and all that shit in the bag. I'm like, Stefan about to, he, he about to get the truth out of her. Because Abigail been telling everybody that she, um, Gabby been setting her up. Chad, stupid ass. Chad is so dumb. Like, how is this boy a Demira? Like, I, I always kind of felt like maybe them DNA tests was wrong. And Stefano was not really his father because ain't no way you Stefano Demira, son. Ain't no way. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but that whole damn family, the whole Demira family has just been reduced to rubble at this point. Ever since EJ and Stefano left, that family ain't shit no more. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Demiras are not nothing anymore. They're not powerful no more. It just seemed like even people in Salem are not even afraid of that family no more. Because Stefano and EJ were basically the junkyard dogs of that family. That's why motherfuckers was scared. But without the two of them and Andre, ain't nobody scared of that family no more. Please, Chad ain't nothing but a little wuss. Stefan doesn't hold a candle to Stefano. Hell, he don't even hold a candle to EJ. Like, bruh, that whole, I, I feel bad. Watching this show, I'm like, what the hell happened to the Demiras? I said, Lord, the Kariakis family, like, what happened to these powerful families? They were so powerful, so feared, and they've been reduced to rubble. I mean, I get it. You know, Victor is in his 80s, so, you know, he kind of mellowed out over the years because of his old age. But damn, man, that's why I always felt like Xander should have took over that family. I said this many a times before. If Xander wasn't crazy, he should have been the head of the Kiriakis family after Victor. He should have been the new head of the family. Definitely, because he's basically like a young version of Victor, basically. And as far as the Demiras, I'm like, Stefan, he's a joke. But um, I had high hopes for Stefan. But he's disappointed me. Um, I was hoping he would have been the new Stefano. But of course, you can never have another Stefano Demir. There's only one of a kind. Um, there's only one original and you can't duplicate it. But I thought he would be a close second to Stefano at least. But I was like, damn, he ain't shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, Chad is such an idiot. Like, why is he running around believing Kate and Gabby of all people over your own wife, ex-wife, whatever you want to call her? I'm like, why would you sit there? And every conversation he has with Abigail, I'm like, how can you not tell that she's really Abigail and not an altar? You can tell by looking at her. You can tell by talking to her. That's not an altar. That's really her. You know what I'm saying? Because Gabby Gale, she was a straight witch. You know what I'm saying? You would know automatically when you're talking to the altar just by the way she'd speak to you. 
Abigail, you can tell that's really her. But Chad is still stuck on stupid. He needs hooked on phonics because he acting dumb. I'm like, Chad, that's your wife, fool. And you sitting here believing all these other people except your wife. Like, you sit here and you kidnap her to try and force her to get some help. I was like, Chad, you are the biggest idiot. Then I remember um the other day, I think it was Wednesday's episode, he was sitting there talking about what would Stefano do. Stefano would be a lot smarter than your dumb ass. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I sometimes I'd be like, yo, he is really not a Demira. Not acting like that, he's not. I honestly, I feel bad for Abby. I really do. I feel bad for Abby because nobody believes her. You know what I mean? I feel like it's so dumb. Like, you could tell when somebody's in alter mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell when their alter took over because it's a whole different personality. You know what I mean? Like, you could tell. Um, Chad is just a fucking clown. Like, he's an idiot. It's like, how can you not tell these things? You know what I'm saying? Like, get a clue. And then he's sitting there, keep telling Abby, oh, I love you. I love you. No, you don't love her. Because if you loved her, you would have believed her. You wouldn't sit there and believe some trick over your wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Like, you wouldn't believe some chick that you used to sleep with, you used to date over your own wife. I like, he's so stupid. So dumb. And now shit really about to hit the fan because now Abby done went into labor. I said, oh, shit. She about to have a cabin birth. Uh... <laughs> That's that's some crazy shit to give birth in a cabin. Oh, I could tell right now. That's some unsanitary shit. Um, so anyway, Stefan come busting up into the PCPD, talking about oh my wife was kidnapped by Chad, and s hoping Rafe looked at him like what? What? They looked at him like what the fuck are you talking about, wife? <laughs> they said hell no, hell no. They was like ain't no way. Abigail would marry your ass. He was like, well, believe it or not, bitch, we married. Um, Stefan sitting there talking about something. If they don't do something about it, it's going to be hell to pay. Hope looked at him like, we are not afraid of you. Like, See, that's what I'm talking about. The Demiras used to be so feared. I'm like, Stefan, go sit down. You you, you pump no no fear in nobody's heart. Like, He's a joke. Um, I was just looking at Stefan with that little threat. There's going to be hell to pay. What you going to do? <laughs> like what you gonna do about it hope and rafe i cannot stand as cops i'm sorry because there are jokes as police officers i'm just saying like i understand they're hell bent on getting bent but at the same time you basically got your proof that somebody planted that evidence and it wasn't ben that planted it so the only conclusion they could come to was trip i was about to say if they didn't think about trip i was about to say they really stupid if they didn't think trip but thank god they thought about trip i said thank you jesus because, I mean, what other young man would go through all that trouble to get rid of Ben other than Tripp? Tripp act like he's so much better than Ben. I'm like, you are really not better than Ben. You try to frame your stepmother for negligence. Like, you try, you held a scalpel to her throat threatening to kill her. You know what I mean? So you're no better than Ben. Really no better. I really can't stand Tripp. Like, he's such a sanctimonious, self-righteous ass. Um, I actually like Sierra with Ben. I'm not going to lie. I really do. I love Sierra with Ben. Um, I don't like the whole redeeming serial killer thing because they tried that, obviously, on another show. I don't like it, but with them two, there's definitely chemistry, so I'll, I'll roll with it. Um, and they look good together. Like That chemistry between him and Sierra is just flawless. Claire gets on my fucking nerves. <laughs> like, Claire, it's a sad, pathetic shame when you have to manipulate just to get somebody you know what i'm saying like that's sad if she has to do all these manipulations and pull all these strings just so her and trip could be together then maybe she should find somebody else who's willing to be with her for who she is you know what i'm saying that way you don't have to pull all these dumb ass moves just to get with somebody why would you want to be with trip anyway he ain't no prize i'm just saying like he's no prize so i don't know why she all gung-ho about being with him when there's a million other men around that she can be with um, I don't know. It's just foolish. Like you sitting here pulling all these strings behind the scenes, lying and covering up stories and, you know, trying to get Sierra with Ben. So that way you can have Trip all to yourself. Like if a dude don't like you for you, then you shouldn't be with them. Period. So if Trip don't like Sierra. For, I mean, Claire for who she is. 
and he's more attracted to Sierra, then why would you want to be with him? Because you're always basically going to be second best. You're going to be second prize. You know, you're going to be you're always going to come second to Sierra when it comes to trip. So why would you want to be with somebody like that? That's always going to see you as their consolation prize. Because, you know, that's what's going to happen once Sierra finds out the truth. Once she finds out that trip was the one that framed Ben and her mother got caught up in it. She's not, she's going to dump his ass and he probably going to go run in the clear. Like, why would you want somebody like that? That's just going to see you as consolation prize. Why you can do better than that. You know what I mean? Like, and Claire was looking straight up crazy when she was sitting there talking to Ben, like she flashed them crazy eyes. I was like, Oh hell no. She looked like a sociopath. I was like, <laughs> like she was just way too much into it. Um, but yeah, like I said, Sierra and Ben, I'm I'm here for the two of them. I am. Trip, your ass is in trouble because now Hope and Rafe want to talk to him. He's in trouble. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty solid episode today. I'm so glad. Hopefully, Kate can get out from under these fools and go back to being a boss that she is. Hopefully, stop taking orders from these dummies. But um, yeah, I actually I enjoyed this episode. Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought, and I will see y'all all later. Peace.